Dilly and the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So, former WBA heavyweight champion of the world and former unified cruiserweight champion of the world, David Hay, has given us a little update on his injury and says that he has pl much more in the tank. He has more to give than what people think that he does. And this is what David Hay had to say. The injury is healing well and the operation was a flying success. I've worked every day to make sure I'm not just as good, but better than before. I'm punching already, doing pull-ups, press-ups, everything I could do before. What happened last time to postpone the fight was a freak accident. Like getting hit by a car, there's nothing you can do. Unfortunately, it happened and thankfully the rematch got rescheduled. Tony wants this as much as I do. The first fight was an epic battle. Edge of your seat stuff and I think the fans will have another fantastic showdown. I was a huge favourite the first time round. He said my body will break down, he will take over and stop me. And that's exactly what he did. However... I know I still have a lot more to give. When the bell rings, you'll see the best of me. People are worried about my body falling apart, but hopefully that's a thing of the past and you'll see a very healthy athlete on May the 5th. David Hay's statement. Well, that's great, but it's not the first time he said this. He said these kind of things many times and you know he's had more pullouts than a prostitute. He really has. I mean, it's just unbelievable that he's unlucky really. I mean, obviously, he knows his body better than what we do. We can only judge by the fight by the fact that he has all of his fights coming up, and then he get, gets them cancelled. You know, let's look at a couple of the fights. Tony Belly was the latest one. He had a fight scheduled with Manuel Char. Again, pulled out that one. He was supposed to fight with uh, Shannon Briggs. Opted not to. Um, he was supposed to fight uh, Vitaly Klitschko. Opted not to. Then he was supposed to, uh, supposed to fight Vladimir Klitschko, opted for Valuev in the end. He was supposed to fight Tyson Fury, pulled out twice. He pulled out of his European fight as cruiserweight. So he has a very, very long history of this. And now it's not his fault that his body's breaking down, that he can't do what his mind is telling him to do. He can't do what he wants to do. Injuries happen. And yes, of course, the last accident, the last injury that caused him to pull out of the Tony Bellew rematch was the fact that uh, he was running up, running up and down a flight of stairs, which um, most people do, and he took like a bit of a stumble. He had to grab hold of the railing to break his fall and ended up pulling his bicep. That's a freak accident if ever there was one. But David Hay has miraculous powers of recovery. I mean, he's got to be the closest thing to a messiah that anybody could possibly have. I mean, I don't know anybody who could come back from an Achilles heel injury as quickly as what he does. A career-ending shoulder surgery, and he comes back, and he comes back as good as ever, like it's brand new. Um, I'm guessing his body repairs itself very, very well without any kind of outside influence, shall we say. Right, so... Um, yeah, hopefully this fight goes ahead and so far because of the last pullout and because of his history with this this fight is just not selling out at the minute uh, the ticket sales while they're doing well of course they're not doing as well as what they were hoping it was going to do when the rematch was first signed it got sold out like straight away in the first day it was sold out the first fight was sold out within the first day or so but this time it's not selling out. And the reason for this isn't because people are not interested in this fight. It's because people are not confident that the fight's going to go ahead. Now, a lot of people um, don't live in the London area. So a lot of people have to travel to the O2, to London, to go watch this fight. And when they got bitten last time, because while, yes, you get a refund on your ticket or you have the option to have the rematch ticket instead, you don't get your money back. For when you book a hotel and things like that you you don't get that so of course people are losing money and that's something that people don't want to do so it's a high risk and i'm pretty sure with about a week or two left before the fight the remaining tickets will sell out but even then it will be done with a sense of hesitance because obviously people don't know if he's still going to pull out he's gone right way up to like a week or so before a fight before and pulled out so Nobody's confident in this. Now, for me, I'm hoping that this is the last time we hear a David Hay pullout. If he ends up pulling out of this rematch for whatever reason, 
then time to knock it on the head, time to quit, time to retire. He's already said 2018 could be his last year in boxing. A lot of people will say, well, that's good, uh, purely because he hasn't got it anymore. But uh, there's a large contingent of people, and I'm kind of one of them, where I hope he still does have it. I want to see the old David Hay, the one who got in the face of Vladimir Klitschko brothers, or sorry, the Klitschko brothers, Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko, where he was wearing the T-shirts with the severed heads. Um, but even then, I mean, if you used to look back in, re in reality, the fights that, that he was taking, even at heavyweight, were cherry picks. Audie Harrison, him and Eddie Hearn did a great job of promoting that fight, but in reality, what was Audie Harrison ever really going to do? Nothing. So he cherry picked even, even back then, but people didn't really notice it too well. People were just buying into the fact that he had a big mouth on him. And it was great. It was great entertainment. He made a believer out of me that he was going to walk through Vladimir Klitschko. Ultimately, that didn't happen. But that's past his past now. Um, Tony Bellew was a fight that he should never have took in the first place because he was a mandatory. Don't know how, but he was a mandatory for the WBO. So he was set to fight the winner of Joseph Parker, Andy Ruiz Jr. And that's exactly what he should have done. As he said, his goal for the Haymaker 2.0, as he called it, was to become heavyweight champion of the world again. He had the op golden opportunity there. But he thought, well, you know what? I'm going to get, get paid a good few million to go fight Tony Belly, who is an easy night at the office. And on paper, he should have been. But it backfired on him. And now he's not ranked. He's not anywhere now. All because of money. I don't blame him. You know, he's at that stage in his career where you need to try and get as much money as you can to enjoy your retirement, right? Uh, but thing is about it, you know, just be honest about it, don't lie, don't say how you want to become heavyweight champion of the world, and when you get your golden ticket to get there after beating a YouTube boxer in Mark Dumori, and the Cobra Arnold Zhejai, who nobody ever heard of, and was only a sparring partner for Tyson Fury for one camp, yes he was undefeated, but he was undefeated because he's fighting out of Switzerland, don't sell these kind of people to us, and say how you want to be heavyweight champion in the world, you get your opportunity, and then you go fight Tony Bellew. At least be honest about it. So, anyway. This fight is still set. It's still on, as of right now. Unless tomorrow we wake up and David Hayes has, I don't know, hurt his butt cheek or something, who knows, and has to pull out again. But May the 5th is on, and also, incidentally, on the same night, over in Vegas, we have another rematch happening in Triple G and Canelo. So everything goes well. Be an exciting day of boxing for British fans and American fans and boxing fans in general. So drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.